Time to test your skills. If you think you're good with the commander, you should prove it. This is the 8th test, so if you don't know what this is all about, check out the intro of the video in the top right corner. It'll tell you everything you need to know. This test was requested by Kimmel Pronger. Thanks for your support! If you're a Zagara main, give him a shout out in the comments. And if you would like to request the test as well, check out the membership link in the description. Now let's get on with the show. Zagara was an okay commander before prestiges were introduced. With the introduction of prestiges, she became so much stronger, especially in the multitask department. There are both multitasking and head-on tests for non-P1 and P1, so that's 16 tests. Good luck! Let's start with non-P1. That means you get to use the hero unit. The quiz is Attrition Warfare. This will test your Corruptor and Bio Launcher usage. You won't be able to rely on her powerful links either. The midterm is Worn Out Welcome. This isn't the toughest tempo mutation, but it's still a decent challenge, especially with the enemy comp restrictions. You can't choose the ones shown on the screen. The final exam is the Injustice League. This will test your skills against heroes from the storm. And the dissertation is Medieval Times. I actually wanted Growing Threat here, but there will be another one that's too similar, so we'll have this one instead. Transmutation is Zagara's worst enemy. How will you deal with it? Note that you won't be able to choose the following enemy comps because transmutation isn't that relevant for those enemies. Now on to the multitasking section. The quiz is special delivery. You will need good unit control and building placement to minimize the damage from the explosions. The enemy comp matters, but there are no restrictions for this one. The midterm is Spectre of Death. You will need good map control and reaction times against invisible reanimators. The final exam is Sheer Chaos. It's just Outbreak, right? But it synergizes extremely well with Just Die and Speed Freaks, making this a decent challenge. The enemy comp matters as well. Choose wisely. The dissertation is Mass Manufacturing. Zagara is great against Void Rifts thanks to P3. Bad Weather, Fear and Lava, even Portal Power are all pretty easy, so she gets to take on this one. You will need to deal with props and rifts without F2. P1 is a different ballgame. P1's tests are arguably easier because P3 is generally used for stuff that's actually hard. But anyway, here they are. The quiz is Train of Pain. You will need good unit control against exploding hybrids and going nuclear. You also don't want to A-move yourself to death. And no bio launchers here, unfortunately. The midterm is Think Fast. Speed props are scary for most commanders, but not Zagara. So why not face your fear with this challenge? And you will also have to face Zagara's biggest enemy, Fleet of the Matriarch. How's your Scourge control? The final exam is Delivery Guaranteed. You will need to be proficient with Scourge sniping while also defending at home. For this test, you can't fight against the usual easy comps. Finally, the dissertation is Dance Dance Evolution. It looks scary, but it's definitely not as scary as Growing Threat. As long as you have good unit control and static defense usage, you should be fine. Now for the multitasking tests. The quiz is Blind Tribute. P1 is generally used against killbots, so test your skills here. You will have to fight against explosive threats, otherwise it'll be too easy. Think of it as a mirror match. The midterm for P1 is Doomsday Report. Here it is again. How will you clear the map without Zagara? You better know your prop timings. The final exam is Double Trouble, a combination of props and killbots. How will you manage your resources while the enemies keep chipping away at them? The dissertation is Rise from Ashes. Scourge sniping is easy on Scythe of Amon, but will it be easy with reanimators running around? You can use options if you want. There won't be many skill tests because the regular tests have already covered most of the necessary skills that you will most likely have to use, such as using bio launchers on Rifts to Core Hall, Void Thrashing, and Void Launch. So, the first skill test is to beat a minor evacuation mutation. ME is a difficult map for Zagara, but as a Zagara main, you should be able to handle it, right? But what about Dead of Night? She is one of the worst commanders for this map, so she gets an easy Dead of Night mutation. Can you beat this without cheese? And the last skill test is also one of her nightmares. Can you beat a Missile Command mutation? There are many options to choose from. So, Zagara main, are you up to the challenge? Here's a summary of the tests. This is for non-P1. And this is for P1. And these are the skill tests. Remember that you can use any prestige for the skill tests. And that's it for this video.
Like and subscribe if you want to take on the challenge. Share this with your friends who are Zagara mains and see how many of these challenges they can do. Thanks to all the members who are supporting me. If you would like to join the squad, click the link in the description below. And while you're here, why don't you check out the tests for Abathur? See you there!